my God, she's been with you the whole time. Ugh. Who are you even talking about? Her, the one up there. Mercury Surrector. Rain. Rain brought you back? Rain. Ah. I've heard Albino mention something about a rain before. Uh, by the way, is it rain or rain? Uh. <laughs> Whoa. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hate to be the jealous type, but what's your relationship with her? Can't be related to her. No. Are you her lover? This is how I know you don't have friends. Says the antisocial loser who gets off being alone in his room, be doing God knows what. Probably jerk off to. <clears throat> Rain would never bring you back from the dead. She couldn't. You've mistaken her for someone else. Honey pie, even if I go blind, I'll know it's her. Her blood is in my system after all. Meaning we're bonded for life. What? What? Still want proof? Well, we both have been visiting each other during dreams, and she promised to rescue me. Bet she didn't tell you that, huh? But it doesn't matter, since our connection is stronger than whatever you two have going on. <laughs> Come on, Sam, get up. Get up, Samuel. <laughs> I know everything. She doesn't need to tell me anything for me to know what's been going on. And here's something you should know. <laughs> Rain would never save anyone that's tormented her out of boredom, no matter how nice she is. And even if she was the one who resurrected you, it was probably a mistake, an accident. She won't be thrilled when she learns that she brought back his life. Who isn't going to be thrilled? Remember Rain? Rain who? Tormented my own god? Me? God! You too far gone, Gressel. What if what you're saying is true? If Rain's blood is flowing in you, then you've met your rival. Unfucking believable. That's a lot of blood. Russell's should have seen his face. We were there. He somehow managed to disqualify the both of you by pushing you both off the borderline. I'm glad he did that. Didn't want either of us proceeding to the next round. Hmm. How are you anyways? I'm good. Not a single scratch on me. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Huh? There really isn't a scratch on you. Told you so. Nothing to worry about. Oh. oh, she's blushing. <laughs> um, so, so, I guess that means you can heal without Rain's help? For now, but it could be temporary. Gressel, on the other hand, he told me crazy stuff about communicating with Rain through dreams, calling her his god, and saying stuff about how she resurrected him. What? And that you were here to save him. Rain, what's he talking about? That, that not possible. I, I killed him. I shot him in the head. How could I, and even if I did, I wouldn't be able to... Maybe you didn't know you could revive someone. And being the creep that he is, he probably consumed some of your blood without you knowing. Uh, you've been communicating with Gressel? I didn't know it was him. The entity didn't look or sound like him. 
All I knew was that he asked me to find him, and I said I would. <gasps> and now I'm here. Oh my god. Hey, it's okay. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Oh. Sorry, we're a little occupied here. Ugh, you guys again. What is it this time? You've all been invited to the head celebration ball tomorrow night. You are required to wear the apparel he has picked out for you all. Your presence is mandatory. What celebration? The head's birthday, of course. Oh. Okay. Wow, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now Rain knows that she was the reason why this Gressel Gressel is alive. He got shot in the head, but yet he survived. So that's kind of insane. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!